cutest exotic animals you can actually own. Do you want to be another boring pet owner? Or are you looking to turn a few heads on your next morning stroll with your newest animal companion? Well, you could brave the mission and opt for a Bengal tiger like Mike Tyson. But a full-grown wildcat is quite a piece of work and not exactly what we had in mind for today's list. We were thinking a little more cute and exotic, like the playful chinchilla or the fluffy fennec fox, perhaps even a goofy crested gecko or a dog-sized rodent like the Australian capybara. With a little extra research and work, these bizarre and adorable animals could realistically become your next pet. So, if you're looking to turn a few heads and melt a few hearts with your newest, unusual animal friend, stay tuned as we count down our top 10 picks for the cutest exotic animals you can actually own as pets. Oh, and if you thought crabs couldn't be sweet, then stay tuned for number one, because this unique and exotic critter is sure to make your aquarium a lot cuter. Okay, let's get started. 10. The Capybara On first sight, you may confuse this large cuteness for one big guinea pig, and you'd actually be right. The South American Capybara is one of the largest rodents in the world. It can weigh up to 140 pounds. Not to worry, you won't be needing a huge cage, because capybaras are semi-aquatic rodents. So, scratch the dog-sized hamster wheel off your list because this animal definitely needs access to a body of water in order to swim around, like your pool. Although mostly adorable and sweet, capybaras can be a challenging pet, especially because they're extremely social animals. So, if you're planning on owning one, it's best to make room for a couple more. This rodent is legal to own in most parts of the world, although some countries and states may require a separate license. But those cute and furry snouts are well worth the extra paperwork. 9. The Serval Now, we can't all adopt a Royal Bengal Tiger as Mike Tyson once did, but most cat lovers would surely love to settle for this wild beauty. Servals can even be litter trained if you start early enough. Oh, you can't run over. These medium-sized African cats are accustomed to warm climates and wide open spaces. For you pet owners, it means you'll need a moderate amount of space for your exotic cat to feel at home. Servals require lots of daily exercise and love to play, so a spacious garden is probably your best bet. 8. The Fennec Fox As if foxes weren't cute enough, we give you the Fennec Fox. Have a look at those ears. They are phenomenal. These foxes come from the African continent and are the smallest breed of fox in the world, only reaching about four pounds when fully grown. But the same cannot be said about the size of those adorable ears. If you never quite figured out whether you're a cat or a dog person, the fennec fox may become your favorite four-legged companion. Tink, what are you doing? Tink. This fox's behavior can best be described as a crossway between that of a dog and a cat. They're usually playful and energetic, like a dog, but just as equally independent, like a cat. So you'll be fine leaving them home alone for a few hours. What sets them apart though, is that they don't really favor dog nor cat toys. This exotic animal can live up to 15 years and is legal to own in most of America, with the exception of a few states, but hey, if you're dying to own one, you can always just move to another state. <laughs> oh my god! 7. Box Turtles Although they can be tricky to care for, box turtles make some cute and seriously long-term reptilian companions. Like most turtles, they carry their homes on their backs, and this species can live for up to 50 years, which may seem like a lot for a household pet, but is laughable when compared to Jonathan, the world's oldest turtle at 189 years old. Box turtles like to soak in water from time to time to rehydrate and cool down. But that doesn't necessarily make them pro swimmers. In fact, they're actually land turtles. They look pretty clumsy while doing it. So, despite their sharp beaks, rough, scaly skin, and tiny pointed claws, a box turtle can make a pretty darn cute addition to your terrarium. 6. 
the chinchilla. From hamsters to gerbils, rodents have a reputation as one of the cutest household pets. But on the more exotic end of the spectrum, and perhaps 10 times more adorable, is the chinchilla. The South American chinchilla can bond very closely with its caretaker, but unfortunately is one of the more destructive rodents. That's not to say they're dangerous or anything, they just don't like to be cuddled. No, 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 no. Ow, ow, ow! You bit me hard! At least not nearly as much as they love to run around and play. They're quite active and get bored pretty easily. So you'll need more than a plain old hamster wheel to keep these little guys busy. But we're sure you'll agree, those gigantic ears and that fluffy tail are well worth the extra effort. 5. The Sugar Glider If you've ever wondered what it's like to own a flying squirrel, then you should purchase a sugar glider. While squirrels can't be domesticated, sugar gliders are the next best thing and, many would agree, a lot cuter. Just look at those eyes. Although the two look similar, sugar gliders are actually part of the marsupial family, just like kangaroos. The female's glider doubles as a pouch where they raise their young until they're old enough to fly off. I mean, glide off on their own. If you're wondering where they got the name, it's because they love to eat almost anything that is sweet, especially fresh fruit and vegetables. The best part about these Australian natives, that they love play dates with their caregivers and get along great with other animals. 4. The Kinkajou Kinkajous are small, golden-brown honey bears that are native to rainforests and have become increasingly popular as pets. Celebrities such as Paris Hilton is known to own a kinkajou and a sugar glider, but the rich and famous aren't the only ones who find these animals adorable. No, no! Don't eat that! No! Take it. Just grab it. Making the decision to care for a kinkajou isn't to be taken lightly, though as these nocturnal animals like to get into things and can be pretty messy. 3. The Crested Gecko Creepy, crawly, but still kind of cute. Despite their preferred diet of crickets and mealworms, the Crested Gecko has a pretty goofy smile and tiny hands. Just look at them, they're so tiny. And the eyes? Well, we'll leave it up to you to decide. But one thing's for sure, the Crested Gecko is one of the cutest reptiles you can own. Their low-maintenance care and funny personalities have made them extremely popular pets. Because they're so simple to care for, Crested Geckos make excellent pets for kids and beginner reptile parents. Of a small monkey hanging with a human finger. So, we looked into it, and it turns out that it's a finger monkey, Pygmy Marmoset. That is the smallest primate in the world very close to our number two pick for the list. Their babies are five to six inches tall in length and weighs around 100 grams. These smallest monkeys are indeed the cutest animals in today's video, but we cannot include them in our list because they are illegal to own in most parts of the world. Two, the capuchin monkey. The cute capuchin monkey is a primate that is often seen in movies and television. It is famous for its small size and known for its playful, mischievous attitude. Remember Jack Sparrow's monkey in Pirates of the Caribbean? They are highly intelligent, territorial, and will live up to 40 years. That's 40 years of diapers, unless you can teach your monkey to use the toilet. 1. The Hermit Crab If your definition of a pet is sweet and fluffy, then underwater crawlers probably aren't the first thing that come to mind. But. Here is one little critter that can make your aquarium just a little bit cuter. Not just for its bulging eyes, but because of its distinct personality. Unlike most crabs, hermits have a smaller, soft abdomen, which they adorably protect by living in an empty snail shell. They must continue to find larger shells as they grow in size, so the owners of these pets must provide progressively larger shells over their lifetime creating a very special bond between caregiver and animal. 